Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from Tradeup. Hello friends, my name is Rambabu Tauru. In this video, I would like to discuss how to prepare electrical machines for electrical engineering candidates. Electrical machines is the one of the major subject in the electrical engineering. Actually, there are two subjects in a electrical engineering core subjects. Those are power systems as well as electrical machines. These two subjects play important role in this engineering. And also coming to the gate part of you, but also most important here. Then I will come across what are the topics, subtopics in electrical machine subject. Then how many marks they are asking from each and every sub sub subtopic. What are the important, what are the unimportant topics? I will come across each and every topic. Okay. Next. First important topic in machines is the synchronous machines. This is most uh, uh, important uh, topic here. Actually, machines are classified into like synchronous machines, induction machines, transformers, and DC machines. Out of which, synchronous machines is a very very important topic. From which we can expect at least one two mark question. Otherwise, two two mark question. And also, there is a possibility to get the one mark question. Either four marks or Three marks from the, the synchronous machines. Now, what are the subtopics in a synchronous machines? Is first one is synchronous generators, next one is the synchronous motors. Now, coming to the synchronous generators, now first need to see across like types of generators, then after how to find the performance of synchronous generators means by knowing the efficiency as well as regulation. Mostly for synchronous machines, we are going to calculate voltage regulation. In order to calculate the voltage regulation of cylindrical type synchronous machine, we have the three methods. Okay, like actually uh, there are four methods. Okay. If you come across each and every method, like uh, synchronous impedance method, MMM method, Fourier triangle method, next last one is the ASA method. Okay, ASA method is the advanced method here. Okay, mostly we will go for the Fourier triangle method. For each and every method, we need to come across how to find the voltage regulation of cylindrical type synchronous machine. Based on this topic, we can expect the one question here based on the voltage regulation of synchronous generators. Thereafter, if you come across the uh, salient pole synchronous generator, like how to calculate, then what is the phasor diagram, also which is very important here, and also calculation of uh, uh, power delivered by the synchronous generators means synchronizing power everything is important here okay. then after parallel connection of generators then characteristics okay next one is uh, then if you make it like uh, um, if you increase the mechanical input then what are the parameters will change if you change the excitation into the generator what are the parameters will change each and every thing we need to come across in this topic now synchronous generator is very very important here. Okay. Don't leave any subtopic in the, the synchronous generators, which is very very important here. Okay. Now next one is once you understand the, the synchronous generators, then come across the synchronous motors. Okay, construction wise, synchronous motor is same as synchronous generators. Now in this especially need to come across the characteristics like uh, armature current versus field current, next one is the cos pi, that is the power factor versus field current. Okay. V and inverter V curves, we need to come across here. Based on this, they may ask the one question. And also, excitation circles, next one will be the power circles. These two also important here. Now, come across these two topics also, and also power, synchronous power, torque, everything we need to come across all these topics. Okay. Now that's what I am saying. The synchronous machines is the very important topic for gate point of view. Okay. 
That's what I given my simple B4 marks. We can get tier at least three marks from the Desikarna's missions. Not only for gate, for any type of exam, this synchronous basis is the very important topic. Next. Second most important topic is the induction motors. In induction motors, there are two types of induction motors like three phase induction motors and single phase induction motors. Okay. Mostly, examiner will ask you questions on the three phase induction motors, analysis spot especially. Now, first, we are going to see like power flow diagram in a three phase induction motor. And also torque speed characteristics, torque speed characteristics. Okay, whenever machine is running in different conditions like moderating mode, generating mode, braking mode, then we need, need to come across the each and every topic. Then after starting off induction motors, starting off induction motors, how to start the induction motors. Okay, next one is what are the methods to start the induction motors here? Like start delta starter, DOS starter, okay, auto transformer starter, like this. There are different methods to start the induction motors. Okay, these especially these starters in order to avoid the starting currents. That's all. That is the purpose of the starters. Next one is speed control of induction motors. This is also important topic here. Speed control of Speed control of induction motors. Okay, these are the most important topic here based on this. They may ask the one question. Uh, state of state speed control methods on rotor side speed control. Mostly they will ask the questions on uh, rotor side speed control methods here. Okay, when you compare to the state of side speed control methods, then after we need to come across uh, circle diagram. Circle diagram of the Induction motor from this we can able to calculate each and everything not only like power input power output power only torque levels we can we can able to calculate each and every thing here like no load current no load power factor full load current full load power factor next one is starting torque running torque okay um, output power mechanical power developed by the that motor okay how much loss produced in this state torque as well as rotor Okay, finally, if you know the uh, um, input and the losses in a machine, total loss in a machine, generally there are two types of losses in a induction machine. Okay, that is like uh, core losses as well as copper losses. And also, there is one more loss that is mechanical losses. Because one of the part in case of induction motor is rotating, that's what there is a three losses we can say in case of induction motors. Now, if you know the losses, then we will come to know what is the efficiency of machine. Output by output plus losses. If you want to say in terms of efficiency, then multiply by 100. Okay. Based on this formula, then and also we can write it in terms of input also. Output means input minus losses by input. This way also we can write the efficiency of induction machine. Okay. Now based on this, we have to calculate the whatever you draw the that circle diagram. Okay. From that we have to after drawing the that circle diagram, then we have to measure the each and every uh, um, line. Okay. Each line it gets the uh, some quantity here like uh, torque and uh, power output, mechanical power developed by the that machine like this. Now, based on that, we can able to get it each and everything. Finally, we can able to calculate the that efficiency of induction motor. Now, these are the topics here that definitely we can expect from this, at least from the three phase induction motor. At least we can expect the one, two mark question here. One, one mark question. Now, sometimes they may ask you two, two mark questions from the this topic also. Minimum will be three marks. Okay. Maximum will be. Four marks from this topic. Okay. Next one will be the single phase induction motor. Really, they are asking questions on the single phase induction motor. Okay. Then, uh, in case of single phase induction motor, just look at the equal circuit of single phase induction motor. Okay. They may ask you one question on uh, equal circuit of single phase induction motor. Okay. Calculate um, uh, stator current, calculate uh, stator power factor, okay. then calculate the total impedance. 
and also um, backward field, backward speed and forward speed, okay, backward torque as well as forward torque, okay, like this they, they will ask you question on the, the single phase induction motor and also theoretical questions on the types of single phase induction motor. Whatever types of single phase induction motors are there, just um, look at the, those uh, single phase induction motors, they may ask you the that theoretical questions. Okay. Now, this is also second important topic in the electrical machines. Next third important topic will be the transformers. Transformers is a very easy topic. Now, in which first one is the single phase transformers, second, will be, second one will be the three phase transformers. Mostly first they will ask you the questions on the single phase transformers in which we will see the like what are the types of windings, equivalent circuit, next coming to the test like OC, SC, next sum not test, okay. Based on this we may expect the one question here like one one mark question or one two mark question. Then after losses that voltage regulation of the transformer based on that we may expect the one one mark question or one two mark question here. Okay. Then after once you complete this single phase transformer, then after if you come across the three phase transformer, what are the types of three phase transformers? After that, for in order to convert from three phase to two phase, there is a <coughs> Scott connection. Okay. Then uh, based on that, we may expect the questions and also open delta. There may be questions on the open delta on type of three phase transformer there is a questions these three phase transformers is the somewhat most important topics in the important uh, thing in the that got transformers concept okay. don't leave this topic here at least we can get the one two marks question from the this three phase transformer one one mark question from this otherwise one two marks question from the this single phase transformer means at least we can get it two marks from this topic here otherwise three marks from the this transformers okay out of these two topics mostly we can expect the questions on three phase transformers okay for three phase transformers better to go through the electrical machinery by Aswak Mishel that is the best to take to a textbook in order to understand the three phase transformers next fourth topic is the DC machines this is the last topic in uh, uh, machines here DC machines, DC means frequency 0, now analysis part is very simple, they will ask you the simple questions from the, the DC machines. How many number of DC machines are there, means DC generators as well as DC motors. Okay, construction wise both are same, anyway, now coming to the question, they will ask you like questions on the uh, armature reaction, competition, next characteristics, characteristics of DC generators, okay. Now, they may ask you like uh, coming to the motors, um, um, speed control of DC motors, okay, so, uh, relation amount, speed, back EMF and flux. Okay. Now, next, uh, based on this one, parallel operation of generators, like this, they may ask the questions on these two topics here. At least we can get the one, two mark question, otherwise, one, one mark question from the this topic. Means at least one mark from the minimum number of marks from the DC machines is one mark, maximum will be two marks. Okay. Now, from the overall in this um, overall in this machine topic, we can uh, expect minimum will be 12 marks here. Every year they are asked 12 marks. Okay. Maximum maybe sometimes they may ask the 40 marks also. Okay. On our average, they are asking 12 marks. If you look into the previous year papers like 2017, 16, 15. Now in every paper they ask 12 marks. Okay, these are so good videos of marks from this machines here. That's why first let it be complete the first three topics after that come across the DC machines. Okay, DC machines is somewhat simple compared to the first topic that is synchronous machines. Okay, then this is the uh, most important subject not only for gate for any other competitive exam but also for interview point of view this is the most important subject okay that's why first let it be complete whatever i given topics then after come across the unimportant topic and also easy topic that is the dc machines okay. and next if you are having any doubt regarding how to prepare the electrical machines for gate point of view then 
um, just ask us that we are ready to give the that what is the procedure to follow to complete the topics in the electrical machines then how to read it how many days required to complete the this electrical machines that everything we will give you okay. just log on to the grader okay. there are uh, number of experts in grader okay. we are trying to give the that reply to whatever you sent okay then thank you all the best